In this video, we are going to learn how to take simple text like this and create high impact slides like this. In order to do all this beautiful typography, you need to type the base text and then split it either into words like this or into individual characters. Doing that manually is very painful. That's why I wrote a macro and I have published it as an add-in. You can also download this add-in. It's a PPAM file. If you want to learn the programming behind it, you also download the PPTM file. In either case, after you download the file, right click on it, go to properties and unblock it. Create a folder called macros and put it there. Next step is to install this add-in. Go to file menu, options, add-ins. Here you will see com add-ins. Change that to PowerPoint add-ins. Click on go, add new and choose the PPAM file which you just saved somewhere. Once it is done, remember to enable this checkbox. And once you do that, you will get an add-in button here or add-in tab. In the add-ins menu, you will see all the macros we have created. My friend Raj has done all the programming. This video is only about split text to word and split text to character macros. I have separate videos for the remaining macros. So what do you do? You write your text first. Make sure you select the text and click split text into words. Now you can take individual pieces and format them exactly the way you want. So this helps you create better typography or text animation. If I wanted individual character, the process is similar. Select the text. Choose this option called split text to characters and then you get individual character. In case the original text was already formatted and then you try to split it, it will pick up the formatting from the first character. So try it out and let me know if you like it. Share it with as many people as you can so that everyone can benefit from this. That's it for now. See you next time. Thank you.